for everyone. So today I am taking a class from a university. So yesterday, uh, all the faculty members received the message from the registrar. So from tomorrow onwards, uh, uh, we are going to take the class from home. Okay. So maybe for the next two weeks, we are going to take the class from home. Okay. I think there is no issue from my side of, uh, regarding net issues. Suppose if I if, if, suppose uh, there is any uh, problem, so immediately uh, send the message uh, to the group or I uh, suppose if Sometimes I don't see the WhatsApp when I'm taking class. Otherwise, just you call me, okay, and then I will, I will again reconnect and then I will take the class. Okay. The last time it was happened when I am taking for the first year. So even this happened in the university. So I'm taking the class and uh, during the class time, uh, there is some problem. So still I'm taking the class. Finally, students uh, send the message through WhatsApp and then, then only I, I know that, okay. So I'm speaking, I'm speaking lonely. So I think you will inform quickly. Now, go to the subject. So, the last class I started a Newton Raphson method. Okay, so we solved one problem in Newton Raphson method. So, this is the second problem. So, please take your calculator. Okay, so I also take the calculator. So find the negative root of the question is so find the uh, negative root of uh, x cube minus 4x x cube minus 4x plus 9 equal to 0 by Newton Raphson method. So instead of finding the negative root, I will find the positive root of this equation and then finally multiply by minus uh, minus 1. Uh, we will get the negative root of uh, this equation. That is the idea here. Okay, now. Okay. So, so let us take uh, f of x is equal to f of x is equal to x cube minus 4x plus uh, 9 equal to 0. So, let us take f of x is equal to even polynomial and then find the f of minus x, f of minus x is equal to minus x whole cube uh, instead of x just replace by minus x, okay. So minus x whole cube minus 4 into minus x plus 9 equal to 0, okay. So you will get minus x cube, so minus into minus plus 4x plus 9 equal to 0. So let us take this polynomial is phi of x. Let's take this polynomial is phi of x. Now I am going to find the positive root of this polynomial, this cubic polynomial. Okay. So uh, for, okay, I will take this phi of x. Now substitute uh, x is equal to 0. If I substitute x is equal to 0, this is 0, this is 0, 9. So that is a positive number. If we substitute x is equal to 1, we will get minus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 9. So 13 minus 1, 12. Okay, positive. Okay. And then if we substitute x is equal to 2, so minus 8 plus, uh, plus 8 plus 9, we get 9. So again, positive. And then substitute. Uh, x is equal to 3, so 3 cube minus 27 plus uh, 12 plus 9, 
so 21 minus 6 so there is a change in the sign there is a change in the sign okay so and hence the roots uh, the roots of pi of x lies between 2 and 3 2 and 3 now i am taking now i am taking the initial approximation is average of these two that is uh, 2 plus 3 by 2 that is 2.5 let us take the initial approximation of the uh, positive root is this is the approximate root I am taking so the initial approximate because x naught so this is the initial approximate root I am taking 2.5 now this is a Newton Raphson iterative formula so the last class we discussed xn plus 1 equal to uh, xn minus phi of xn divided by phi dash of x. So, okay. uh, so this is the Newton Raphson formula, iterative formula, where n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay. Now, now what is phi of x? What is phi of x? Phi of x is equal to minus x cube plus 4x plus 9. Phi of x is equal to minus x cube plus 4x plus 9. Okay, now phi dash of x, phi dash of x is equal to the differentiate you will get minus 3x square plus 4. This is phi dash of x. So now this is the iterative formula xn plus 1 equal to xn that is a previous iteration value minus phi of xn divided by phi dash of xn. Okay. So now this is equal to xn minus phi of xn is uh, instead of x just replaced by xn. So minus xn cube plus 4xn plus 9. That is a numerator. Phi dash of xn. So we know that phi dash of x. So replace x by xn. So minus 3 xn square plus 4. Okay. So once we have up to this level, now you should substitute n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. If I substitute n equal to 0 here, if I substitute n equal to 0 here, so x1 equal to x0 minus of minus x0 q plus 4x0 uh, plus 9 divided by minus 3x0 square plus 4. In the last class, I told that how to calculate uh, using the calculator. Okay, uh, I think everybody knows that. Uh, that method. So, so here you should keep your mode is in radian or not? Uh, I think degree mode. Okay, degree mode. So keep it is in degree mode, and then. Um, uh, Put a bracket left left para, left parenthesis. Okay, so again I'll recall left bracket. You should open the left bracket and then press the button alpha, which is very near to shift. And then if I close, if I need x not x, okay, instead of x not I will take x. So now uh, press the button closing bracket. So you will have x that is capital X in your screen. Suppose if you don't have, please tell me, and then put minus, and then put two left to open brackets, okay, so left to open bracket, you should press two times, and then minus, minus alpha button, and then x cube, uh, op, uh, closing bracket, okay, x, I think power, you know that, Okay, it's, it's Q and then plus 4 alpha X plus 9 close one bracket and then divide by divide by I can open one bracket minus 3 alpha closing bracket X, that is for x square plus 
four. There are three three closing brackets. Okay. Okay. Now press calc. It will ask x question mark. So put uh, press. I uh, need uh, initial approximation is what two point five. If I if you give two point five, you will get two point seven two. Eight eight one three five five nine. Have you got this value? Have you got the value two point seven two eight eight one three five five nine? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, okay. So next. Similarly, check. Next, you press calc, and then answer, and then equal to. So check it. Our x2 equal to x1 minus this expression. So 2.70674409049. So please check all these four values. If you don't get it, please tell me. And then again, calc, answer, equal to. Two point seven zero six five, or two seven nine seven seven, and then again, calc answer equal to two point seven zero six five, two seven nine five five, and then again, calc answer equal to two point seven zero six five, two seven nine five five. I think here in the in the fourth iteration, the fifth iteration, so the nearly you'll get the same value. So that's why we can stop here. So we get the positive root of phi of x is equal to zero is two point seven zero six five two seven nine five five. So and hence the negative root of f of x is, uh, f of x equal to zero is just minus sign multiply by minus one minus two point seven zero six five two seven nine five five. So next problem. Find an iterative formula. Find an iterative formula uh, to find the reciprocal of a number. To find the reciprocal of a number n by Newton-Raphson method. And hence, of time. And hence, of time. One by nineteen. One by nineteen. So, what is the question again? I'll read the question. Find an iterative formula to find the reciprocal of a number n. Okay, reciprocal of a number n, and by Newton-Raphson method, obtain obtain the value of one by ninety. So, x is equal to. Let us take x is equal to reciprocal of what? Yeah, that is one by n. Okay. So then, n equal to one by x. From this, I have n minus one by x is equal to zero. So assume that f of x is equal to assume that f of x is equal to n minus one by x. Okay. So this is my f of x, and I need f dash of x. I need f dash of x. f dash of x is equal to this is zero. If you differentiate one by x, you'll get minus one by x square. So minus into minus plus one by x square. Okay. I got f dash of x. Okay. Suppose if I take if I take Uh, f of x is equal to uh, instead of writing like this, n equal to one by x. Suppose if I take x is equal to one by n, so I'm taking suppose if I take f of x is equal to x minus one by n, x minus one by n. Okay, so the difference of these two. Then f dash of x is equal to one. This is zero. Okay, wah. Now by Newton-Raphson formula, by Newton-Raphson formula, x n plus one equal to x n plus one equal to x n minus what is f of x n? f of x n is x n minus one by x n divided by f dash of x n is one. So you can cancel x n and x n. Remaining you have minus of minus one by n one by n, so x n plus one is one by n. So 
xn is also what xn is also 1 by n okay xn plus 1 is also 1, 1 by n so you don't get an iterative formula suppose if you consider uh, f of x is equal to x minus 1 by 1 by n you don't get an iterative formula so that's why i will write <coughs> I will write n equal to 1 by x and then I will take n the difference between these two that is n minus 1 by x I am taking this is a function of x and then I am finding f dash of x f dash of x is equal to 1 by x square so now so come to Newton Raphson formula okay xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn where n varies from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, now uh, xn plus 1. Okay, xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn. What is f of xn? n minus 1 by xn. Okay, f dash of xn is 1 by xn square. Okay, so now from here to here, uh, xn, so 1 by xn square, I will write in the numerator that is xn square into n minus 1 by xn, okay, xn multiplied by xn square here, so minus n into xn square, minus into minus plus, uh, xn square divided by xn is xn, okay, so add these two, we will get 2xn minus n into xn square. So I'm taking commonly xn. So xn plus one equal to xn into two minus n into xn. So n varies from zero, one, two, three. So, so this is an iterative formula. This is an iterative formula for reciprocal of a number n. Okay, this is an iterative formula. Okay. So now using this iterative formula, I am going to find, I am going to find the value of 1 by 19. Okay. So if you type in the calculator, you will get the answer for 1 by 19. Okay. But uh, using this iterative formula, so we will get, we will get uh, the value of uh, 1 by 19. Okay. So, to find 1 by 19, so let us take n equal to 19, here n equal to not 1 by 19, n equal to 19. Okay. So, the iterative formula is what? Uh, xn plus 1 equal to xn into 2 minus n into xn. Okay. So, if you substitute uh, xn plus 1, not xn plus 1 equal to xn minus 2, n is 19. Just replace n by 90. Now n varies from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. Now I uh, I need to substitute n equal to 0. If I substitute n equal to 0, I'll get uh, left hand side is x naught x1, right hand side is what? X naught minus uh, into 2 minus 90 into x naught. So I should as I should take uh, some approximate value for uh, for 1 by 90. Okay, so that's why I will take I will take uh, one by twenty is x naught. Okay, one by twenty is x naught. Okay, that is uh, we know that that is one by uh, uh, one by two is uh, point five. Okay, so one by twenty is uh, zero point zero five. So let us take this value is x naught. Okay, so instead of x naught, we should substitute the value here. Okay, so here also you should substitute here. So please check whether you are getting these values for x1, for x2, for x3, for x4. So using calculator, uh, please check it. And uh, uh, and x3 and x4 are nearly same. For, for the, even for the eight digit, you are getting same values. So that's why I will stop up to fourth iteration and hence uh, 1 by 19 equal to 0 0.0526315678 okay. okay.
think uh, you, you can check it even now or later. So we will solve one more problem. Find the positive root of Find the positive root of uh, x is equal to cos x. X is equal to cos x using Newton Raphson. So now, so let us take f of x is equal to x minus cos x, then calculate, uh, we need to find the positive root, so that's why I substitute x is equal to 0, so f of 0, so 0 minus cos 0, that is minus 1, so which is uh, is negative number and then f of 1, 1 minus cos 1, so we put in radian mode, so what is 1 minus cos 1, please tell, Minus 0 0.45969. Minus, uh, minus or plus, sir? Uh, please check it. Plus, sir. Yeah, yeah plus. Yeah, plus 4. Point, sorry. 0 0.45. Yeah, yeah, 0 0.45 uh, so, which is a positive number. So, and hence the roots lies between roots lies between zero and one. So, so you should write here since f of zero equals zero, since f of zero and f of one. R of opposite sign, R of opposite sign, so at least one root, at least one real root must lie between 0 and 1, at least one real root. must lie between 0 and 1. Okay. So now, so let us take uh, the initial approximate values average of 0 and 1. So let us take x not equal to 0 0.5. So Newton Raphson iterative formula.
concentrate formula is uh, xn plus 1 equal to xn minus f of xn by f dash of xn. So n there is from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay. Now, you know that f of x is equal to x minus cos x. Okay, and hence uh, f dash of x is equal to 1, my, 1 plus sin x. 1 plus sin x. Okay, so and hence the next page I will write. So xn plus 1. xn minus f of xn. f of xn is xn minus cos xn. xn minus cos xn divided by the dash of xn. The dash of xn is 1 plus sin xn. So n varies from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Now substitute n equal to 0, you get x1 equal to x0 minus x0 cos x0 divided by 1 plus sin x0. Now you know that x naught is uh, 0.5. Okay, 0.5. Substitute here and find the value of x1. So please do it. Sir. Uh, please do. Sir, if you don't mind, once again, can you explain how to do in calculator, sir? Okay, I will tell. So now, here you have cos and sine. So it is better to take in uh, radian mode first. Here. So press the button, mode button, uh, three times, I uh, think four times. So you have so degree is one, radian is two. Okay, press the button 2 again. So if you, if you press the button you 2, you'll get a radian mode. Okay, now here the right hand side expression is uh, we have uh, x0, but I will consider instead of x0, in generally x. So first uh, I'm going to press the button uh, left to parenthesis, left to parenthesis. That, that is just above the number 8 and 9. So adjacent to E and G, that is a left to bracket. First, I'm going to press the left to bracket, okay, and then uh, I'm going to press X. For this, first you should press the button Alpha, which is just near to the button Shift. The right hand side of Shift, you have Alpha, so press the button Alpha, and then now press the button Closing bracket. So that is uh, next to the opening bracket. So if you press the plus thing right, you have symbol X. Okay, if you don't get it, please tell me. Okay, and then put minus sign, minus sign. Okay, and then open two opening opening bracket. Open the two opening bracket because here you have the division division sign. So if you don't have division sign, one bracket is enough. Okay, I, here I have the division, so that's why I'm opening two brackets. And then again, press the button alpha, and then press the button closing the bracket. So x, the symbol will appear in your calculator. And then minus cos, I need x, so that's why alpha closing bracket. So x, now close one bracket, so closing bracket will come. Okay, and then put the symbol division. Now opening bracket, one plus sine, I need x, so that's why alpha 
closing bracket. I'll, now I'll have x. Now close three brackets because uh, okay, we need to close one bracket for this. Remaining two brackets already we opened, so that's why here I close three brackets. Now everything's over, but now you should press the button calc C A L C. Just that is just below to shift. It will ask x question mark. Okay, you need to you need to type initial approximate value point five. Okay, and then press the button equal to. So you will get point seven five. So all of you got this value? Please check it. Uh, I got zero point seven five two two. Triple two four one seven. Suppose if you don't get it, please tell me. Okay, sir. After pressing cal, it is not showing anything, sir. Ah, uh, after pressing cal, it will ask uh, x question mark. It will ask. Sir, how to change radian mode? Okay. So again, I will come from the first. Okay, I think the calculator you have the mode button. Okay, wow. so now press. Suppose if you press mode button, you have complex uh, and one and two symbol. Okay, okay, again press the button. S D R E G base one two three. So next press the mode equation mat D C T. That is one two three. I don't need that one. And then now you have degree radian. Okay, degree radian. Suppose if you need a degree, you need to press uh, one. If you need a radian, uh, if you need radian, uh, okay. If you need a radian, press the button two. Okay, press the button two. Press the button two. Okay. Now th this is the method to get radian mode. Okay. Now are you got radian mode? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, again, I'll repeat for this expression how to type. So first, you should open in the bracket. Okay. So that is just right to ENG button. Okay. That is in the. Uh, I think you, you can see the bracket button. Okay. And then I need X. X uh, instead of X naught, I will just type X. So put press the button alpha. Alpha and then closing bracket. So the closing bracket will not come, but X will come there. Okay, minus. You have a numerator as well as denominator. Okay, that's why I am opening two opening brackets, so it will be visible for you. Two opening brackets, and then alpha closing bracket. Now you will see X minus. Cos x means I need x alpha closing bracket. So you have now minus cos x close one bracket division open one bracket one plus sine I need x. So again alpha closing bracket you will get x. So now you should close three brackets one two three. Okay, now, Magesh Babu, you should press uh, Calc button. It will ask X question mark. Is it, it is asking or not? No. Yes, sir. It is asking now. Now press point five and press equal to. So I got point seven five five triple two four one seven. Okay. Now please write. So don't uh, do anything in the calculator. So now x2 equal to x1 minus x1 minus cos x1 divided by 1 plus sine x1. Okay. Now come to calculator again. Press calc. Press calc. It will ask x question mark. So you don't give any value. 
So just to press answer button, AMS. So it will take the previous answer, that is a point seven five five two triple two four one seven, and then press equal to. You will get. Please tell your value. Zero point seven three nine one four one triple six. One four one triple six. So now x three. So you know how to write this expression. I will write the directly answer. Again, calc last x question mark plus answer and equal to. Okay, tell the value. Zero point seven three. Zero point seven three nine zero eight five one double one double. So one more iteration. X four. X four. Calc answer equal to zero point seven three nine zero eight five one three three. I think you can see here x three and x four are. Ah, uh, as with as exactly same. So and hence you can stop the iteration here. Okay. So the approximate value of one by nineteen equal to. So you should write point seven. Okay. The approximate uh, value of one by nineteen. We need to find out that is equal to zero point. Sorry, it's the previous problem. I'm supposed to be the previous problem. Okay, we need to find the positive root of x cos x. Okay, x minus cos x. So the positive root of x is equal to cos x is 0.73908513. So this is the final answer. You should write uh, after this step. You should write. Okay. So I think uh, you know how to do in calculator. So again, I will just. Uh, uh, Suppose if you are comfortable with this uh, with this operation, you will do it. Okay, I don't compel you. You should you should learn this. Okay. Suppose if you are not comfortable, okay, leave it. So as usual, I should type how you calc uh, how, how how you will use your calculator, your own method. So type for each expression because if you done mistake in the first iteration, everything. Remaining values are wrong. Okay, so that's why if you are very comfortable, then you can use this. Otherwise, find x1, substitute here again, find x2. Okay, it will take time, but you will get the final answer, correct answer. Okay, suppose if you are doing by this method, you should check again once again. Okay, so make it sure that whether you done it correctly or not. Okay. Now the interaction method is over. So here there are enough problem for you practice. So using Newton's formula, Newton's absolute method, solve the following equation. This is a polynomial equation. So this is an four uh, x minus e power x. Okay, x log x minus one point two. So here x power x is equal to hundred. Find the root between three and four. So x tan x is equal to 1.28, x e power x is equal to cos x. So try to solve this problem. So answer is also given here. Okay. Now uh, this is a problem related to the reciprocal of 1 by n. Okay. Reciprocal of 1 by n, and we find the value of 1 by 19. Similarly, find the iterative formula to find the root n. Okay, root n. So and hence. Uh, Let us take x is equal to root n. X is equal to root n. So f of x is equal to f of x is equal to difference between these two. That is x minus root n. So and then you should find uh, f dash of x. Okay, f dash of x. So try to find the iterative formula for uh, root n, and then. Uh, Okay, please write here. Please write. If you do it like this, you have dash of x is equal to one. Dash of x is equal to one. So you don't 
you don't get it. It hash of x is equal to one. So what we can do? Uh, so if you square and let's take x is equal to root n, x is equal to root n. So x is square equal to n. Okay, x is square equal to n. Now we'll take the difference between these two. X is square minus n. So that is the difference. So let us take this is our f of x, f of x, and hence your dash of x is equal to dash of x is equal to two x. Dash of x is equal to two x. So what is the iterative formula? Iterative formula is x n plus one equal to uh, x n minus f of x n divided by f dash of x n. Okay. So x n Okay, x n minus f of x n is what? F of x n is uh, x n square minus m minus f dash of x n minus f dash of x n is two x n two x n. Now simplify. Okay, simplify this one. You will get you will get this answer. X n plus one equal to one by two into x n. Plus n by x. Okay, so you can get it from this easily, and then using this uh, iterative formula, you can find a root five. You can find root five. So you can take uh, x naught is a root four. Okay, that is initial approximate value. You should choose it. So uh, x naught equal to root four. Root four is two. Okay, and similarly find the iterative formula for Uh, to find the cube root of the positive number n, cube root, okay, cube root of positive number that is uh, n power one by three, n power one by three. So here x is equal to root n, okay. So here x is equal to n power one by three. Here I am both side squaring here, so I get x square equal to n. Here you should take cube on both side, x cube equal to n, and then you should take the difference f of x is equal to x cube minus n, and then find f dash of x. After finding f dash of x, you should use this formula, so you will get the answer, third answer. Okay, and using this iterative formula, you should find the twenty-four power. One by three, and then in general find the uh, iterative formula for p root of uh, a positive number n. That is n power one by p. N power one by p. So let us take x is equal to n power one by p. So x power p equal to n. So let us take f of x is equal to x power p. Power p minus n. Find the first derivative, the dash of x. That is a p into x power p minus one, and then use the iterative formula. You will get this answer. So, I think you can do it. Suppose if you feel any difficulty, uh, you can contact. Sir, Sir. yeah, please. Try. What could be the value of uh, x naught? Uh, for this one, ah. Uh, Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and and the previous one, previous one also, sir. Previous one. Okay. For for this, you can take twenty-five uh, uh, whole power one or q one by three. What is twenty-five whole power one by three? Uh, because we should uh, we should take the uh, known number. Okay, so so otherwise you should uh, should take x naught is twenty five power whole power one by three using calculator. Okay, you should take. Otherwise, uh, we, we don't have any, any other option because here uh, you can take easily. That is uh, root four. Root four is two. Okay, but here you should choose twenty uh, five whole power one by three using calculator. So that is that that is the uh, x naught value. So that is very close to 
uh, 24 pole power 1 by 3. Okay. But for this, because this is a pth root of uh, uh, x power n. So I think, uh, uh, okay. I think here we, we don't take, we don't, we don't, uh, they don't ask any particular value for fourth power. Okay. To find the particular value, only we need x naught value. So here they are asking only iterative formula. Okay. For the fourth problem, we don't have any problem here because they don't ask, hence find anything. But only in the third problem, second and third problem, second problem is solved. But the third problem, uh, you should take x naught equal to 25 power 1 by 3. So there is no other option for me uh, because that is very close to 24 power 1 by 3 but 24 sorry fourth problem just we should find the pth root of uh, or positive number here so they don't ask any particular value so that's why we, we don't bother about x naught is it working Nagesh? no sir okay sir I think uh, okay, this is okay. Next uh, uh, method is uh, I will check it the syllabus. I still have seven more minutes. Okay, so I will start the next method. Iteration method. So the next method is iteration method. Or method of successive approximation. Method of successive approximation. Method of successive approximation. So just I will tell the procedure and the condition uh, this uh, in this class. Okay, if possible, I will try to solve one problem. Okay. So first I will tell the procedure. Suppose uh, we want to find the approximate, approximate root of the equation f of x is equal to zero. Okay. So you should write like this, suppose we want to we want to find find the approximate approximate root of the equation f of x is equal to 0 because this is equation 1 so write the equation in the form Write the equation in the form uh, x is equal to some function phi of x. x is equal to phi of x. This is equation number 2. Okay. Now, 
assume x not assume x not be the starting approximate value to the actual root alpha okay assume assume x not be the starting approximate value approximate value to the actual root the actual root alpha of x is equal to phi of x okay now let us take uh, take x is equal to x not in the right hand side of equation 2 the arc axis of equation 2 we get the first approximation we get the first approximation so that is x1 equal to phi of x naught. So now again, again, uh, take x1, x is equal to x1 on the right hand side of equation 2, the right hand side of equation 2, you'll get, you'll get x2 is equal to phi of x1. Similarly, you should go, okay, x3 equal to phi of x2. So finally, xn equal to phi of xn minus 1. Okay, the sequence of approximate roots x1, x2, uh, x3, x4 up to xn, uh, if it converges to alpha, okay, uh, if it converges to alpha, is taken as the root of the equation f of x is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is a procedure. Okay. So, but we don't go for up to n. Okay. I, I think up to uh, uh, 6 iteration or 7 iteration. Sometimes it will take 10 iteration. Okay. Because uh, the, the right hand side value should repeat at least for 4 decimal places. So then you can stop the iteration. So here note okay. the convergence of the sequence is not guaranteed always unless the choice of x naught is properly chosen. It is x naught is approximate value. Okay. So if you don't choose properly the approximate uh, initial value initial value x naught, uh, you will not get the answer immediately. So the convergence of, I will write here, note 1. Convergence of the sequence sequence is not guaranteed not guaranteed always unless the choice of Unless the choice of uh, x naught is properly chosen. Oh. 
so next note the convergence is linear and the convergence is of order 1 so the convergence of this method okay the convergence excuse me sir yeah please tell we have another class now oh okay i think time is over huh? okay yes over okay we will meet uh, tomorrow thank you